Right, swap these over. There we go. How's that? Hmm. There we go. It finally worked. We're okay. It finally worked. We're all good. Right. Begin. Special ticket. Yeah. For a single pack. Well done, Konami. <clears throat> That's definitely what I wanted. One singular pack. I mean, I could mess around with Armored Exes. I don't know why volcanic rats in this pack, but you know, why not? Alright, so what we're dueling with today. We are going to play this for, for, for I think. Can't say I know how this plays, but I'll give it a go. Going second, of course I am. Oh. Hello. What are you streaming to there then? I'm just doing a bit of Master Duel. Uh, fair enough. Try to practice um, some combos. I've continued where I left off with Robocop. Alright. It, it, but one part about Robocop that bugs me is you can't get to max uh, rank, uh, you know, max stats in one playthrough. Oh, did you um, play this? I watched a guy fin fully play it for like 50 hours. I oh, I got told you could max out if you upgrade um, the experience. Yeah, that's the first once. thing he did. He was missing about six points. Ah. Uh. But there may be random uh, points in the level, like pickups that I didn't get, but... Oh, yeah, there's stuff we... But he explored absolutely everything in that game. Fair enough, that's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, you don't need to upgrade everything, though, that's the thing. There is a new game plus, though. Oh, that should be alright, then. Um, But you don't have to upgrade everything. It's only if you want. Um. One thing I'm noticing though, it's got some right graphic issues. Those are graphic glitches. And uh, my guy got launched into space. Well, hopefully that happens not happen to me. I did get bugged out on the mini game one on the shooting range mini game once, which was a bit annoying. Uh it's a bit jank, but it was a small company with small budget, so I can't really expect too much, I guess. I mean, at the end of the day, looking at this, I mean, one thing, uh, there's a couple of safes early on, which you need to like have a little six engineering for, which I couldn't do them, so I mean, I don't know, you, if you maxed out, uh, got to level six engineering early on, like right at the beginning, then you would have more access to safe, but because you didn't upgrade the experience, you wouldn't have got as much anyway. So, I mean, a bit of this and that, really. The scan function could definitely be upgraded, I think. The scan function is one of the best functions that I hear. I mean, one thing that I, if I... I hope that they do a sequel. 
probably won't, but I'll cool because one thing I really like but don't really the go they don't go fully with it, do they do it partially is the psychology aspect where you, you can have like the therapy sessions and how human you still are kind of thing. It just lets um, you choose the correct options and stuff really. Uh, but it'd be quite nice if they expanded on that, like you seek a way you had that kind of inner battle about how human you are. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to Capsital. I'll just go straight into Mikhailis and nope him from existence. Yeah. We'll go Mikhailis. Nope, clear wing. So there's like specific rules at the moment on the uh, tournament? No, there are the this is just standard this one. There's no specific tournament rules for this one. Which is not too bad. I'm just doing a bit of uh, grinding because I haven't really used this deck much before, so... Mm. I spent some time making it, I might as well have a go. Fair. Very fair. I'm going to go into Zeus, is that what that's saying? I don't want Zeus. We'll get there, though. It's like the other day I made a... A One Piece deck just to find out that it's being banned. <laughs> Quite a lot of One Piece has been hit, yeah. It's a shame because it's a deck I spent ages and a bit of money trying to get because I thought I loved the Athenian idea around it, which was the Nami deck. And then apparently it was meta and it, so it got nuked into orbit. Which is a shame. Because that would be quite interesting. Right, so he's got app color on. Yeah, there, yeah, mate. Oh. I'll use return here to destroy app cologne. I don't think he's got a huge amount of follow-up left. He's got Beast to destroy a spell and drop. That's fine. I can just use packs. Uh, who do I want who's fairly big? Martha's pretty big. We'll get Martha. They say someone to upgrade my skills. I was not great scanning. Hmm. I need upgrade engineering first. My guy upgraded Very damage good. last because he didn't need it. His weapon yeah. was just that good. He didn't even need damage. And the, yeah. from what I remember, the shield perks, apart from the shield itself, suck. I think after doing engineering, so I can crack surfs. I was up max it out, just get to level six. I need to um, maybe do scanning or something. Yeah, the worst ones are the defense ones, because you just need shield. Anything higher than three is just, you don't need. 
That's hilarious. The there's some biker gang guys, and they uh, die because they ran their vehicle directly into me and <laughs> just crashed into me, and they die. So, and I didn't. I took barely any damage. That's hilarious. Could do with a slow down. What the hell? This is hard. I'm supposed to shoot their e engines and their bikes, but they're so fast. You can just shoot them, it's fine. Yeah, but I'm trying to get the trophy. If your gun's on fully auto, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, Except for the moves that fast, I can't aim at them. Yeah, but fully auto, it just shoots enough bullets with infinite ammo, it shouldn't be that. Yeah, hard. but the. the circling around like loads of areas so it's Ooh, Sakitama Got that mag That's really Oh I failed to roll any of them up because they crashed or they kept crashing themselves into objects. Of course they did. Damn it. I tried to cheat by destroying shooting the engine of her uh of uh one which is still moving but it it doesn't count. It has to be one with a living guy still on it. It's a shame. Mm. Is it caps it hell I need? Yes. Oh, I can shoot the mu the music speakers, that's quite cool. That was quite annoying. Definitely probably increase my damage because the damage output is a bit shit. Hmm, it's a huge area. We are right in pain in the ass and I missed lots of things. Yeah, a lot of these guys just crashed randomly in other areas. So I didn't even have to shoot most of them to crash themselves. Bit shit AI that. Okay, where's that speaker? Because I'm destroying that. That's really annoying. There we go. Time theory would do it does not work. Oops, Akadama. A lot more depth to this deck than I thought. Well, there's a ladder which I can't reach because it's too high up, except for I, it's literally at my head level, so I could easily just grab it and pull it down. Version breaking.
درسمون Hmm. Why did you do that? That's so stupid. I don't know why did I start this game against a T elements player? I'm gonna be here for years. <laughs> Hate them so much. Oh, window. I definitely probably need to upgrade my armor because my god these guys do damage now. Ooh, combat shotgun. Yep, yeah, I like the combat shotgun. God this guy is so stupid. You don't do that, because now I'm going to go into Zeus. Well, he's making it a quicker game for you. Isn't that what you want? Someone's hands in you a victory in a play. Why would you complain? Oh, he's got that in the gate, hasn't he? Sorry about that. I do like the destructible, how uh, destructible scenery is. That's quite cool. Well, that's pretty decent, yeah. I always like destructible scenery. Reminds me of the good old days when I used to play uh, Mind to Report on the uh, PS2. Really fun, just destroying all the scenery. I was like, oh yeah, I don't kill anyone as I just throw someone off a skyscraper. <laughs> we have someone else. Probably not. I know it is. Uh -oh. oh, that's annoying. If you grab the explosive item and the person blew it up in my hand. Yeah, the the only threat you have is really grenades and rocket launchers. And the heavy machine guns that people have mounted up. Yeah, you've got a shield, you're fine. I don't have a shield. You haven't put three points into shield yet? No, because I've just upgraded the um, what you call it, uh, experience and then a little bit of security. I'm not that far in the game. Ah, right, cool. I keep stopping to talk to you a few times. What game is this? Robocop. Huh. They're using 50 cal pistols. 
no reason they're doing damage to me. Yes, if those existed, people would use those against Robocop, yes. They're called Desert Eagles. They do exist. Oh, this guy's still going. Right, I can only special once. I think that's all I need. I'm just going to a Sophia. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll do Aratama. Yeah, this is a copy of Sakitama. I do the effect of Sakitama. Normal Sakitama. Going to a Sophiel, wherever she is. There she is. Right, this will bait out his negate. I'm gonna bounce... Yeah. There we go. I hit the... I managed to destroy a engine while I'm mid... Then, yay! I think that's all the hard trophies dealt with now. Ooh. Yeah, it'd be nice and steady for a while, we're getting there. I'm trying out a new deck and I'm not doing very well. Oh, what's this one? I'm playing Exosister, but the second I attack one of these, he's got Invoker in hand to give himself an extra thousand attack points. So I can't actually do anything. I managed to shoot a grenade mid there. Wow. I suppose I can punch Beast. Something. I literally just beat someone to death with their buddy. That's hilarious. It's so annoying, like, when you make a new deck and you go up against something like this first. It puts you off using that deck. You know what I mean? Mm. Understand. Oh my god, man. Oh, my frame rate has just tanked to, like, 10 frames. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, you know, me and uh, Dave decided on um, a diff a, an additional co-op game today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Cheers. Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. He knows Not what I'm oh. oh. That did not go well for me. Do I have any other decks I could potentially use? I mean, I could... Really? The guy just blow up all his teammates. Honestly. What am I missing for this deck? Oh, yeah, definitely can't play that. I'm missing like six, seven URs. Right, we can't play that. What about weather? Can I play weather? 
What am I missing in weather? I could potentially play this. I'll dismantle some URs that I don't need. If there are any URs I don't need. Uh, is there any? No, I think I need all these so far. Yeah, I need all them. Well, let's test Mechanko for a game and then I'll go back to that one. I want to give it some actual use. You are, you are not wrong, Firewall. It's doing garbage. Yu-Gi-Oh! in um, Europe right now is horrible. In what way? Uh, they've decided on the uh, tournaments for this year, and not a single one of them is in Europe. They're all in America and everywhere else. Uh, sounds about right. They haven't announced a single one. Question is why though. Yeah, so the Europeans. It's because they have to do it all in multiple languages, and that costs money. Hmm. There's no reason that they can't, because it's just they'll be losing money anyway. Because that's what you do when you make events. There's no reason you shouldn't do it. Activate Hidden Armory. And Nimper, lovely. Um, yes, I want my Washidori. Yeah. Basically, there was an entire... um, Like, tons of YouTube videos from... I think Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! did one. About how everybody who would be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right now can't justify spending... Well... Because they have a £1,500 meta deck that they can't use. So they might as well just sell it and go to a different card game. Which they did. They've all gone to One Piece. Unfortunately, you can't get bloody One Piece around here. And we can. We get enough. Do we? Because last set, I couldn't get any, uh, any cards in, over here. Because they're only for tournaments, and that was it. Yeah, you can get like them you if you wanted it. to get them, though. What? If you wanted to get them, you could just eBay the sets. It's still doing really well in tournaments because of prize um, money and that sort of thing. Except for that eBay thing, they were charging significantly more. Well, that's what everyone does on eBay. Yeah, but I don't want to pay significantly more for a booster box. Spend 1,000 to compete at 20 man locals. Yes, you've watched the same video I have. That's basically what it is. People just don't like Yu Gi Oh as it is right now. Oh my god. Does this bot realise he could have defeated me if he uh, uh, chained and used Axe of Fools on me to negate my effect? Okay. Okay. We got some new decks made to try, so we we'll be all right. Almost finished weather painters on this, and I just got absolutely crushed by uh, what was it? Tear Shadow. That didn't end well. And I've done all my Digimon grind, so I can finish that game tomorrow and Sunday, which means on Monday. Since I've got that off as well, I can do some Duel Masters. Well done, bot. You are most definitely a bot. What? 
Oh, that's hilarious. Because the flame rate is so broken at the moment in my game. It means that the grenade lo the grenades and my launcher won't go any distance. Mm. They just stay put where they are in my gun. <laughs> they just detonate on myself. That's, that's so, so nice. bad. Yes. It's all right. I was uh, recording not too long ago, and halfway through it, the uh, my PS5 crashed. God, that's rare. It's very rare mine crashes. I don't think I've ever seen it crash. What's that? I'll be, I'll play the PS4 game, so I'm assuming that's the reason why. Maybe. Um. Yeah. Assuming it was because obviously the PS4 games are all on a hard drive, so it might just be a hard drive issue. A cat. This is impossible to play. Red, green, lava golem, lava golem, ohime. Against dinos. Okay. Yeah. Translation in card games is so dumb. Like, I don't believe any card translated into, well, from, like, YouTube stuff of new releases in Yu-Gi-Oh! unless it's translated by an official person. Because a lot of the effects just make no sense. <laughs> no, Morganite isn't just a, a Monarch card, it's also a Flu card. This guy's called Undertaker, so let's see how he does against two lava golems and Mikanko. Oh, that bad. Just kill my game. Hopefully that'll fix the bugs. You'd hope. Yeah, you'd hope. There's a chance it doesn't. It's just impossible to play. The frame rate was so bad. It was like, it got to a point where it was five frames, I just couldn't do shit. It seems to have gone back to normal. It was what? good, I didn't lo and the checkpoint was quite close, so I didn't lose much progress. I didn't think of that, a lot of lingo doesn't translate very well, does it? In card games. Oh. That's something I wouldn't have thought about. Yeah, make sure that. Why would you Dingirisu first turn? You can't shuffle my things. I know sometimes they just don't, they sometimes just give up on actually trying to translate a card and just change its effect altogether. Yeah. So he has IP. Is that all he's got? If I do this, then he can't activate their effects as quick effects, so IP is irrelevant. And then he has two monsters, and I can lava golem one. Is it like a, an English thing, Firewall, where for some reason people in our tournaments just want to use foreign cards for no reason? Like the amount of people in our tournaments who use like German cards and stuff instead of ours. Are they doing a master duel as well? Hmm? Are they doing a master duel? No, they just do it in cards. real life, don't they? They always use foreign cards. It's because they're cheaper. I think it's just because the art looks cooler or the foiling's better. When you say. For, uh, foreign, what do you mean? Do you mean for other European? Do you mean Japanese? They use... Well, they can't use Japanese because that's the OCG, but they use yeah. everything else. But all the all the other countries use the exact same thing. The only reason why you do the foreign one is because it might be cheaper to get 
and you can still use it in the the uh, TCG. And not, none of the top tier meta cards are cheaper in any other language, trust me. They use them just because they look cool. Sometimes they are cheaper. Um, cause I remember Why, guy... we, we have the best pull rates in all of Europe. By far. Hmm. The only time I've really seen other people use foreign ones was um, Americans. And that was because they could get them cheaper, the foreign ones, sometimes. But that's the only time I've ever seen it. I mean, I remember a guy used to go and get German and Italian cards. And then he would go to America and sell them for a significantly higher price. So. Oh, so everyone uses English in Romania. Interesting. Well, most some uh, people the tournaments he's been to are. Well. And well, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that the problem is that they only make like five different languages, and Romanian would probably would be one of them. Well, English would probably be the easiest to acquire, I'd assume, because of the size of Europe. And a lot of Romanian people will speak English. Yeah. No one plays Monarch, so there's little data on what a good list is. Oh, I know that feel. I've just been trying to make some real jank lists, and I have no concept of if they're going to be good or not, because I just can't tell. Because there's no to benefit, uh, no to look at. Hmm. I just make something and hope for the best. I mean, he's only got 44 damage, you can't kill me with that. Like, the problem with Lava Golem is he takes your normal summon, and I really need my normal summon. But just in how Lava Golem came back again. Just because there's no out to just tributing your opponent's things. And the one card I wanted to put in this as a as a tech is a you are and I can't afford ninety dust for him. It's a shame. It is a shame. It's just a standard super rare in real life if I wanted to build this deck. Like uh, she's the only expensive card. The rest's worth absolutely nothing. Zeroboros. Interesting. So what he's going to do is he's going to summon a card to this zone to banish my things. I'm going to banish him to this color realm. Hmm. Hmm. Right, that's not dealt with. And we'll use this. Does he have Ash again? No. I want to get my Washidori. And I don't want this Lava Golem. I mean, you can use that, I don't particularly care, but you know. Equip her with... Uh, my dance. Punch. Go away. Oh, these guys still alive. Right. He has two cards in hand. That's something. The two monsters, though. Ah. 
Hello again, Dingirisu. How are you? Right. So if I finish Digimon this week, I can do Duel Masters all next week. I should be able to finish it in one week because it's not a long game. And then... Then it's my long slot, so that's not too bad. What's he doing? Brute Enforcer. Yeah. You can't target my cards, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of people though file they they won't tra uh, translate anything. Like, the amount of people who, well, a lot of the translators do get abused a lot. Like the ones who translate manga and stuff. There's not enough of them for the amount that is required. And they just don't get treated great. Just a shame. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! also doesn't help that it doesn't have any, like, decent text. Like, you could change this to, like, three lines with easy phrases on how their effects work. Like they're doing in uh, one of the other games, but they're not ever going to do that. If I hadn't have summoned Hugh Lee to this zone, I'd have won this game. That's kind of annoying. That is what it is. Yeah, it happens. Like, I've never seen an Orcus player actually play Orcustrion before. We're learning. I barely won any games yet, but... Hell it is. Oh, there it is. Let's at least try to get decent with this. I'd say I will get decent with it, but I'll certainly try. Oh, I could jump in this game. He's way too... Uh, Robocop is way too heavy to jump. I know. But for now. We'll go... Um, go I think this is a reason why he can't jump. Hmm? This is a reason why he can't jump. Like, other characters who's just like... Who's literally two-inch wall right there. Jump over it. He also doesn't take fall damage either. Meh. Martha. Like a special Martha. And we'll set Ellis.
Um, we'll go. Can't really do. We'll go Michaelis, why not? Uh, Nexo Spell and Trap, I'll do that. An Ellis. We'll add packs. We'll exit into the big lady. Magnifica. Set packs. End. If this guy is using gold pride, that's going to be very inconvenient for him. Evil eye? Oh. You're not getting a free monster. <laughs> no free monster for you. Huh. Duster. Do packs and return here. We'll banish your field spell. Just in case. And we'll add Martha to hand. Fucking hell, that gave me a heart attack. Did a gun sh a jump scare and it actually got me. Fuck. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Do not do that. Because you watched a guy play this, Brad. Yes. After doing just deduction engineering, what would be the best next one? Uh, things automatically on the map is quite nice. That's pad deduction. Right. I've already done that. I've got scanning not psychology, scanning in which... Psychology is um, fine because it gives you all the favourable options. Right, I might go for that then. I thought that might... That, was, it was either that or scanning for me now. Because there's um, different endings depending on how human you you are. Oh, there's different endings? Yes. Depending on how I you do. Uh, it's like, do you determine yourself to be human or not? Ah, I didn't realize different endings. Yeah. So by favorable, does I mean does the favorable give me the better ending? Favorable ones, like if the psychologist is talking to you and you do a favorable one, it'll mm. give the psychologist more uh, XP with you and they see you more favorably. Uh, I don't think done that with some people outside just randomly kind of guessing, like public trust. But it says that your public trust has gone up, and, and then somewhere around about getting public trust points, and like, but I, it is nowhere it tells me what our public trust points are. Oh, 
I'm playing against Exodia. This is going to be fun. Nice. He's got three pieces in the graveyard so far, so he's getting there. Oh, is it going to be a... Uh... Slighter, is it? He's being a treasure panda guy. Treasure panda? I'm not letting him get any, any more pieces. Well, he's trying not to anyway. It's really hard to defeat an Exodia deck going f when you're, they're going first. Because yeah, if they've got some good options, you just if can't. Go in, it's... Yeah. If the, if you've got decent, they just you just can't beat them. Depending on what they've yeah, got. They've, they've got the steam to cook. He and needs the one card hard, to yeah. add these three pieces back. Because if he hasn't won this turn, he is just not going to win. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're back. Hand out. There we go. I mean, Exorcist is doing fine. I can't say it's the best deck in the world, but doing fine. You know, you got them, um, Cards I need off you, Nat. Dashed about. Mm-hmm. Dude. Get them off you at some point. I'm not looking through my commons to find them, so it's it's fine. If you need help, just give us a message and I'll see if I can find them. It shall be fine. This one, that just that. I've had like six messages from the Geek Retreat people saying, have you got any of these cards? I'm like, no. I mean, I do have them. I'm just not finding them for them. <laughs> I can understand that one. I don't need anything, so there's no point me even trying. Or is this Labyrinth? Yeah, it's always a case of just trading for the sake of trading, innit? So. And if they're expensive for no reason, cap. I probably would tr would end up trading some stuff, but... It's not too prosper. Yeah, just so you can get some of the worth out of it. We'll get three. Uh, Michaelis, Sophiel, and a Magnifica. Ooh, fit Labacus, here we go. We've got some good gaming here, Nat. Hmm? Ash, Imperm, or Cold Boy? Um, Cold Boy's fine. What's in Stella? Use packs to get Ellis. Summon Ellis. <laughs> all the all the monarch knowledge. When Irene. Monarchs are always interesting to play. Then we go Caps it all. Using these. Like this. Need the player can swim from the graveyard for the rest of this turn. Good. Get noped. 
And we'll add an exosister, which will be Sophia, probably. Or Martha. Yeah, Martha's good. I'm sort of reminded of that Superman vs. Batman movie. Martha! It was a horrible movie. Um, like, it was garbage. Why do you say that name? Just so happens that both people, some others, were both called the same. So yeah. the shotgun. This, uh, it's like I'm doing against Nat. I think not. Hey, this is this is literally my deck. I don't, I don't know why I'm about Brad. Yeah, self destruct ant, little abacus. Yeah, I'm looking for giant germ next. Oh, don't don't jinx me with that. <laughs> quite a lot, quite a lot of people um, at Geek do play foreign cards. Yeah. All, all they and need to do is know what the cards do. I think some people also play foreign cards too. Because your opponent doesn't know what the card does. They have to tell them in the rules. Yeah, but you're not going to keep on remembering what that person's told you. If it's, like, uh, it's in the rules that they have to keep constantly telling you. <laughs> there were a lot of uh, tops recently of decks people don't play. And every time he started playing them, they had no idea what they did, so they kept asking questions and they kept running out of time. Because sometimes uh, foreign rarities just look cooler. Sometimes. Secret barrel. <laughs> I like fake lavacus. Two secret blasts, not <laughs> bad luck blast, secret blast, secret barrel. Uh, yeah, this is literally just my. <laughs> it's like what I would use. All oh, truly kind of stupid cards. Right, what do you think is top? Is the card in his hand is? Ooh, I'm hoping Battlefader. Oh my, he surrendered. <laughs> Ooh, that was lucky. Uh, Today, I have not fought, done a single standard duel. Christ, look at this. Uh, I did like that. What, what else did he have in his deck? Meteor of Destruction. Fearing Energy. Uh, Time Lord. Really? Time Lord guy? Yeah, half your bonus life points. Oh, that's the burn one. Yeah, it is the burn one. Yeah, and he's, he's playing Numeron he Network, just the OTK one. That one. This one in perm, though. That, that one in perm. Not needed. Can go away. Just get use it on something else. Yeah, but like, if you're going to be playing a deck like this, you'd play... All the draw spells in the world because you don't really need to summon anything. No, you really don't. You might as well just play the uh, the 50 card Paleozoic list that the top Yu Gi Oh player played last week. That thing is miserable. <laughs> Look at him with his new deck box. Let's see what cool what cool moves do we have today? Probably nothing. Oh, and that the re-monster dub comes out in three days. Now, if neither player can read the foreign cards, I assume. 
They just have to call a judge over or just check it on the phone of their actual ruling. Judge! Judge! <laughs> From what I remember, it's you're allowed to use foreign cards so long as you have a copy of that card written out somewhere. Maybe? I think that sounds about right. Hmm? Judge, I do not speak French. This does not work. Right, so I'll get an Exo, sister. An Ellis. I will gain... Martha. Summon Martha. Martha summons Ellis. And then I can go into uh Michaelis. Okay, I'm going to ask you the, the life, uh, the, the thing, Firewall. Which Shaman King did you finish today? This matters. <laughs> did you finish, like, the... Or the original one? The 20, was it like 2005 one or something like that? So not the remake one? Oh, you, you mean the 2021 one? I liked that 2021 one. I think it flowed better. And it was more no, no, shonen because they used time. like actual techniques. And they did actual arcs of training. Like how uh, your special abilities are based around a crane and stuff, which was never in the original. A crane? Yeah. Because they've all got... Uh, is based on, he had to pick an animal, basically. And he picked a crane oh, because of how defensive and stuff they I'm are. I'm thinking of the mechanical crane. I was a bit yes, there are then. quite a few problems with that version of Shaman King. The original. Hmm. Both of them. Like the original didn't flow well. Its ending was garbage. Um, you had to read its ending. Yeah, the ending was a bit garbage. I didn't mind that... Some people didn't like the fact they made Morty a shaman. I didn't mind that. He, he's not massive... He's not really a shaman. He just has vague shaman skills. Yeah, with the blacksmith. Quite a lot I didn't of, mind. He's got a couple of spirits he can use in the in the manga. And you'd expect oh, him to learn good. something because he's training from you. Hmm. One thing I will say is I actually find that the manga for Shaman King is a bit of a mess as well at times. Quite a lot of them were back then, to be fair. It's... To be fair, the, the manga ending is bit shit, to be fair. You think so? I do not, but we it's do differ on this. The whole thing of, the reason why uh, the main villain is, is evil Finn and has been doing this e his evil plan for thousands of years was because of mummy issues. No, it's because the humans killed his mother and he wanted to get his mother back. What's wrong with that? It's just, for 1,500 years, it's a bit... Oh, there was literally no other way to stop him. He could not be stopped. Except for he kept getting stopped. No, he didn't. But also, <laughs> when <laughs> they, they saved the day by a magical, a magical flying friendship train. I'm sorry, a magical f a flying friendship train um, of guilt trickery, which was what it was, is not a good ending. They just, they just had to convince him not to destroy humanity. That was the know, only way they could win. It was so Kingdom Hearts. It was ridiculous. Well, I haven't I mean, read Kingdom... all the manga yet, but I will happily read it just to prove you wrong. I read, uh, I read what the it ending. Was is, the ending was is that it becomes one with the Earth. Yeah, it does as well, but they, they right, saved the day by... 
but you have all that in you. It's like you literally go, ah, right, yeah, um, I shouldn't do that. Also, uh, is this the, like not knowing something. As soon as you know, not to magical do friendship. Right? Also, it, I didn't like the. F I didn't understand. I was going to say this. It was not friendship that did it. It was the fact that he actually did become one with the world that stopped it from happening. They yeah. convinced him by um, on no. the twelfth. No, he didn't. He just said, "Okay, you can be a thingy," and then it's like magical. I've become one with the thing. It's like now I'm not going to do it because. I have the information that says, oh yeah, that's a bad idea. I think it's, it's in like episode five that that was the only way that could happen and that you had I'm to convince him to it. not kill everybody. The, uh... no, I remember, it doesn't even convince him, he just, yeah, lets him do it because he knows that he wouldn't do it anyway. Some of the things about the manga was a bit weird to me that the whole spirit bells Pretty and wrong. the whole, uh, all the equipment that the uh, shaman judges and whatnot use. Was um, was given to him by aliens, um, and we and we're talking about the standard little green men type. Nash is an alien, so Nash is. and then for some reason, all the judges decided that uh, they because of who because um, Yao, not Yao. What's his name again? The villain. How? how became spirit king or whatever that means the referees have to stop them and all the heroes have to kill all the referees like silver and gold um so and the only only like two of the referees are still alive at the end and that's it every single one's been mur uh, murked by the good guys and just, just one because like, that's who the daughter is in the sequel um there's more than ones and there's uh, the, the the one who pretends to be an alien the one of the elders, and there was another one, and then there was two who went rogue, who also survived. So about four. But it just seemed a bit unnecessary for him to just. It was just really. If you're gonna want to kill silver and gold off, I think it's called. I can't remember his name. It was a bit of a. Not, it was a very poor way of doing it. It was just a bit forced. Wasn't really well in well, you, you can tell from like from what Firewall's saying there, like the decisions that he makes are basically he wants to lose. Who does? The main villain. Because he makes incredibly stupid decisions deliberately. Hmm. Yeah, he purposely keeps people alive half the time. Yeah, you, you can tell he wants to lose, but he is that strong he literally can't. Like the spirit of fire is so much more powerful than every other one of his cre everything that exists in that world that he's, he's never going to lose. Can you explain why the fire spirit is stronger than all the other elemental spirits? They're not. Did you do you never see the other elemental spirits? Do you only ever see spirit of fire? Oh, uh, just in the anime that you see the other ones. Yeah. In this There's one, a... in the original, and in the manga, he has the spirit of fire, but he is that overpowered he can just change it to whatever element he wants. Yeah, because I remember in the anime, they found a way to try to combat fire, and when they finally do, it just turns out it's, it's now the water spirit. like, well, yeah, you can... Yeah, he can just change it. ...all that resource in stopping fire, but I've still got all the other guys. Because his... He is... For Yoku level, is so much higher than everybody else's, he can just do whatever the hell he wants. Oh, yeah, because then they say you need uh, 1,080 beads to stop him, whatever it was. That that probably wouldn't have even stopped him either. Like, yours power level by the end is like 50k. His is 1.5 mil. It's just not going to happen. I think just the point was he just wanted someone to end up stopping him at some point because he didn't need to be stronger. He was already capable of winning the entire Shaman King tournament on his own. Fuck's sake. From what I remember. I mean, I do need to read the manga for the Shaman King tier system of what, you know, the power system. And I'll, I'll get there, but I haven't fully read all of it yet.
I mean, he killed most of them. That and the the two people who could revive people had already been killed. Well, they couldn't revive anymore because they ran out of, ma of mana, which was Jean and the spiritualist lady. But I do appreciate in this one that Jean and Ren actually have interaction, considering they do have a kid in the sequel. I still don't even have that much interaction in the manga. They have, they have quite a bit. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, I um, think the arcane joke guy. How old are they Faust the, can't uh, revive people. <laughs> Jean can, because she has the Babylon guy. And then there's the random lady who can revive people because every time you revive someone, they get stronger. But then how just stops them reviving people by just killing them? Nope. I don't think he. I don't think he actually revives people. Oh fuck's sake! Again. I hate this. This game's making me do a hostage situation, but it doesn't work, the hostage situations in this game at all, because the enemy focuses purely on killing the hostage, and it goes, goes in such slow-mo that it's impossible to actually kill the enemies in time. Yeah, we tried negotiation. No, you had to, you had to blast through a door and kill them. Um, uh, within like a second, but it... there are upgrades to increase your slow mo, but depends if you can be bothered to use them. Well, yeah, well, I can't, up I currently can't upgrade anything at the moment, so I'm just stuck trying to loop this. And this was actually a side quest rather than just a little bonus XP. This is actually a side quest, so I can instantly fail it every time. <laughs> so I keep in the reload checkpoint. But the checkpoint is beginning of the building, so they redo the whole building <laughs> again each I mean, time. Faust is my favourite Charming King character, though. He just Faust. is. He's, he's just cool. Mm, I he's cool. Interesting enough, Annie, Anna is probably one of my favourites. I also like Endgame Lyserg, where he gets the cool combination spirit of all the race cars. That's cool. Yeah, I think like I said, the Archangels could have been done better. They're not Archangels, they're just spirits of cars. God, it's been that long. You seem to you know more about this than I do, Firewalks. It's been that long. I don't think, from what I remember, he can heal people, but he can't super revive them like Gene and the other spiritualists can. So they don't get stronger or something? It's been so long. I do want to rewatch it though, it is good. <laughs> you finished it hours ago. Yeah, you will be more up to date than me. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm doing uh, the Siren video first. Then I might do Katako Hitman Reborn. And then I might do Shaman King. I just need to finish my next two games first to make my backlog. Because it'll take me a long time to finish them. 30. Stupid game server error.
Yeah, they do drop spirit integration a little bit quick in this one. Drop shift and they immediately surrender. Lovely. Do you ever finish, by the way, Shaman Kim Flowers? It's not even finished yet, it's still ongoing. The manga's still on. Uh, the anime is still going this season. Hmm. I just couldn't get into it, the flowers one. Certain bits of it are dumb, yes. I found it funny how. Was it. The. Uh, what's his name? The Black Lad? Is now in jail. Because after everything what went lot on, it's dumb things that happened in Charming King Flowers. He just became like a gambana. Right, the original one, um, it was a lot slower. They changed a lot of the things out of it. Uh, the hmm. voice acting was terrible because you had the British Chinese guy. The uh, the American British guy. Yeah, the the American British guy. And the uh, biker, the biker Japanese guy. Well, Japanese biker guys all um, actually in, in real life, so it's not a big deal. No, it's so sounding like a stereotypical American biker. Except for... Uh, the, the ending was made up and it was incredibly stupid. So, episode 51... The episode 51 of the original has Amidamaru turning into a super gold state and then one-shotting how. And then episode 52 ends with, by the way, the Shaman King tournament's on again. Didn't the, um, didn't, uh, you, uh, what, what, what's your spirit called again? Amidamaru. Didn't he fuse with all the other guy's spirits? Yeah. That's why we came to he, he turned a giant gold spirit and just one-shotted how for no reason. Uh, the three ladies around how you know the the standard th the three people who were in all the time like I think she's the pink -haired, the pink haired girl the blue haired girl and the blonde lady they he doesn't kill them like he does in the original one and they don't turn into spirits I don't even remember who these women are oh you'll recognise them when you see them I don't remember how ever having some female followers I remember him having the uh... The sheep kid. Yeah, she, he's got the sheep kid and he's got quite a few people followers. You'll recognise him the second you see him. Yeah, not very memorable. Yeah, one uh, one had a uh, looked like a witch. A spirit form was was, uh, was a Halloween lantern. Oh yes, Halloween. Yeah, but he merges his own people. Yeah. I can't remember. He sets them all on fire, and Anna revives them all later into spirits but can't revive their physical beings oh, wait, this, uh, yes he should not have been called Ray Tracer that was stupid it's almost as bad as the villain from Saga of Tanya the Evil her name is just as stupid by the way doesn't he uh, doesn't, does, does Anna successfully uh, um, put um, Faust's wife inside Back inside, like a body, a human body again. He, no, he puts this her spirit into the skeleton spirit that he has. Because right. before he was just, you know, manipulating her bones, but he puts the spirit actually in it. But she looks like she's a human again, almost. But she when he he puts all of his spirit power into her, so she is basically human at some point. Hmm. And for, to clarify, to clarify. The villain of Saga of Tanya the Evil is called Mary Sue. <laughs> I thought the villain of uh, Tanya the Sa uh, Saga was a uh, god. Yeah, uh, the other... Because God um, makes, you know, disciples. And he makes a disciple to screw her over called Mary Sue. Okay, that's funny.
like in the original one as well, the, the first one. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Ren doesn't train. He just gets given the power from the book towards the end. It's really stupid. And they all get stupid power-ups for no reason. It's just not consistent. What about the training with the rice? So bad. Yeah, there's loads of random changes, like in the original one as well. A lot of the fights, they didn't use special attack names or anything like you'd expect a shonen to be. I have no problems with that, because that gets very tiresome very quickly. I, I Even actually Naruto's really like that they did. Saying the, word, saying the attack names, <laughs> they got sick of it. I really like that in this one. Hang on. I believe it. If you've watched um, Inuyasha, you know how annoying that is, though. But believe it. No. Uh, he says wind scar like 20 times an episode. Uh-huh. Yeah. The book was just... By the way, uh, part of himself is sealed into this and he's just going to train you and you become more powerful for no reason. I mean, they didn't even become that much powerful, really, did they? They still got their ass kicked. Mm. Uh, the the new one has G, actual Jean going around doing things. The first one, she just didn't do anything. I think all she did was attempt to fight How, get Mash eaten, and then she just was just not there anymore. Whereas this one, her and her people go around killing people. I don't know. Need to pass the time somewhere. I mean, she isn't she isn't an immortal witch, so she can do whatever the hell she wants. Well, saying that, she's not immortal in the sequel. Conveniently. She dies off screen, by the way. Which, which series is this we're talking about? Flowers. Oh, Flowers. Who dies? We made in Jean. She dies off screen. Yep. And the enemy summons Jean to attack her son. As I said, I don't think Flowers <laughs> is particularly great. Yeah, that does happen. It's not great, but. It's fine. Off screen shown and power ups are a staple. There's a uh, Roa Roa and the snowboarding guy. Oh, um, is he paired off with anyone at the end? Or... So I know that he was in love with the person who became the spirit who was attached to his snowboard, but obviously think... she's clearly dead. I'm not sure because he gets the spirit of water at the end, and I can't remember. I don't remember getting a spirit of water. It's a bit of a training montage. Just a tab. Do that on Afterglow. Like, why would you choose to go first with Galaxy? I mean, you can. See, I do have a lot to go through with Shaman King again, because for my video, I've got a lot to discuss. But it is Siren first, so that's what we'll do. Ooh, Prosp. I do like Prosp. I mean, how could he even do that anyway? 
Because once he's the the becomes one with the great spirit, he can just do whatever the hell he wants anyway. It's like they need to change his mind from all his stuff because in all of his reincarnations, all he's done is just try and kill everybody. It's possible Korra survived. By oh. the way, um, from the anime, I couldn't really tell, from the manga, I wasn't sure. When um, Hal eats spirits, can they actually be brought back? Or are they permanently gone? It depends which spirit. Because he, he eats your father's spirits and he eats um, Iron Maiden's spirit uh, as well. Mash can't die, so she just gets mashed back. So it's just convenience. Basically, yeah. Ugh. Mash is just as powerful as one of the great spirits is, from what I remember. Well, he gets absolutely murked quite easily, though. Yeah, that's because Gene's not as strong as he is, and how can provide enough power to him? If you know what I mean. So. Yeah, all the, all the spirits are inside him, that, and they can be brought back if they want to. Right. So he probably releases them after he uh, decides not to be an evil douchebag. Surprise. I mean, he wasn't some really evil. He didn't do much evil things. Everyone around him did. Oh, other than slaughter loads of people. He didn't do that a lot. A lot of his people did. Yeah, but if you're commanding people to kill people, you're still responsible for them killing people. He didn't order anyone to kill anybody. They just do. And had no problems with them doing it. No, because he doesn't give a crap about humanity. Why would he? No, you know I mean, he's, he's not a good guy. Well, I don't give a crap about humanity, but I'm not evil. Doesn't he directly kill... Um, some people a few times, like some of the referees and whatnot. If they challenge him, yeah. If they yeah, left him yeah. alone, he doesn't particularly care what they do. He just wants yeah. to win the tournament. He could have literally walked in and just said, everyone challenge me now, and it will be over. And he could have done, he, and that's what he could have just done. I don't know why he didn't. Probably because there wouldn't be much of a manga then. Wow, that happens in God of High School, and it's still going. It still went. I enjoyed God of High School. I did, it's good. The people doing the versus battles against Jin are idiots, though. Mm -hmm. Why? What are they trying to do? Which, which character are we talking about? The versus battles with Jin. They they think uh, Jin's not powerful and he's not you uh, omnipresent like he is. And like, oh, but he'll totally lose against this. I'm like, no, he won't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you have the power of karma, which is the power to do whatever you want whenever you want to do it, because you can rewrite reality, then you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you pretty much just have a. You see this? This is my insta win button, uh, and I can press it whenever I want. Like these people of Goku can beat him. No. <clears throat> no, he can't. Uh, I watched a thing earlier about ask a guy asking people at a convention, which anime has the worst fan base? Dragon Ball and Naruto by far. One guy said Dragon Ball because of all the people saying that Goku could beat this person, Goku could beat that person. Um... One said the big three, but the majority of them said fairy tale. No, I have never met not fairy tale. A, sorry, a really fairy bad tale. Bleach fan. Um, everyone mentioned um, My Hero Academia. Pat, that was it. Everyone mentioned My Hero Academia. I don't know. I think uh, one, Pe uh, one Punch Man's are worse. Really? Yeah. I've never had any talks at one, oh, they one are, point. They are miserable. One. Um, oh, I God, could, Evangelion I could, fans. I could mm. probably trumpet um, 
without um, which no one else mentioned, which was Ruby. I don't mind the Ruby; it's pretty good. No, but toxic fan base is what we're talking about. Mm. Ruby has a very toxic fan base. Are they fans, really? Yeah. God, Tokyo Ghoul and Black Butler fans. Oh, Black Butler fan, mate. Oh, Christ. That's getting a new season. So that's going to make them even worse. Yeah, like, out of the big three, One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach, Bleach is by far the lowest. They don't... They, they just don't... Do these? Bleach got cancelled, so therefore people no, were happy to get to get whatever they could. Bleach did get cancelled. No, we didn't. He was forced to wrap it up, and then they let him bring it back again years later. Just because you don't like Bleach does not mean you can disparage us here. No, 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 no! Don't start making up lies. You don't. You don't like Bleach. I don't care about it. That's a, that's a bit different to not liking it. We are not. We are also not going to get into these fights today, so we're fine. We have done enough Naruto bashing on these streams to last years. We're not doing any more of that. Yeah, that sounds like a broken record. I have never done such a thing. As we always said many times, it was some series is have loads of potential, just not utilized very well. Uh, Shonen generally don't because they have to go certain ways. It's a shame because some have really cool, interesting worlds. And it's just a bit of shame. But, when... Well, mm, did you ever get round to reading Kishimoto's newest series? What, which Seven got Samurai? Yeah. Wasn't it? I thought that series was like a little mini-series. No, it, it got cancelled. Yeah. Because wasn't it just Naruto but with Samurai? Yeah, do you know, do you know why it got cancelled? He made oh, his main character too strong. Oh. I thought his character, his character looked just like Naruto. Oh, it did. It, no, it looks like the Six Paths. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what? Why he was so overpowered? Uh, All his stats were on screen, and they are literally the infinity symbol. Okay, so it started off with an infinite. That's um. An infinite strength, infinite stamina. That is not how you do a series. That is how you can do Isekai because they're not to be taken seriously and it's more just chilling around in that world. That's not how you do Shonen. You can't, you can't do Shonen like that. No, it's not the best. What, happened, what Does the villain have infinity plus one strength? So dumb. I'm just sad that the uh, Siren Crew and every little series they've tried to do after that, no matter how good it is, always gets cancelled. It's almost like they, someone has a grudge against them or something and doesn't let them get anything out. Oh, it's probably. Oh, it's simply just that they don't make generic shit and they make something different. And. People don't want different, people want generic shit. Quite a lot of Shonen fans do like the generic shit. Which is a shame, because I don't. Like, they just did the really annoying, um... Boku no Hero thing. And it's... So stupid. 
tell me if you've heard this before. Main character's power gets taken away, but it turns out that they had an inner secret power that they've always had but didn't know about, which surfaces at that time, which is stronger than the power that they just lost. Galactic football, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clancy Football was a good show. I need to watch Series 3. I only watched um, the first two. Hey, let, me, let me put that on my list. I'll, I'll load it oh, up now. Yeah, so watch it later. Power system, yeah, it's actually a valid power system. There we go. I think yeah. there's. I think you said there was three series, didn't you? Yeah, each season is 26 episodes long. Well, the first one, obviously, no. The second one was where the, fa the, the final team is these big green guys who can freeze people in place with, like, green stuff. Oh, I'll watch uh, it. I need to watch um, that one that Firewall asked me to watch first. The Rex one. No, I'll watch that. Was that any good? It was pretty good. His ending wasn't great, but and there was a lot of blatant issues with it. See, I would love for some of these really old series which copyrighted people don't give a shit about. Do like some kind of like watch party uh, live ribbon slash review kind of thing on that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Uh, Back in a second, I mean, a quick little break, well, and then we can discuss more stuff. I don't mind generic tropes. I, I, some generic tropes are good. Some are comfy, but some are just. Don't change the generic tropes, please. Oh, um, one thing I think would be quite funny to watch because it be it's of its time. Is um, Mex the new adventures of Johnny Quest? That's not the some bits of it is 2D animation, some bits of like old school 3D animation. Because you go into the virtual world every now and then to help solve the issues. Alright. Like a lot of older cartoons, though, like that sort of era, you could tell that they were just, that they got cancelled, but they did the best that they could. And I, I don't mind that, so long as the ending mm. is decent. What's funny is. I apparently there was a, a original Johnny Quest series where he's a, where he's a kid, not a teenager, and I didn't know anything about that because that was only aired in America, um, which I found fascinating. Uh, yeah, you got me to watch Symbiotic Titan, I believe. Firewall was the next one I needed to finish because I did Castlevania, and we discussed that last time, and we said it was garbage. Wait, oh, the uh, more recent Castlevania. Uh, season two. Oh, the Nocturne. Which which one uh, turns into an orgy? Is that the third one or fourth That's one? That's season two of part one. Nocturne is the one that I, we got to watch, and it was terrible. Nocturne is so bad. The butcher, the source material, is so hard. Oh, I've watched some episodes. I haven't finished it, though. 
I'll, I'll, I always finish the series that I watch. So now we'll go into... Down. Yeah, I've only watched like five episodes of Symbiotic Titan so far, so there's not a lot I know about it, but I'll, I'll finish it. There's a few other ones I need to uh, have a watch then. It's alright so far, there's just too many unanswered questions. And it'll, it takes me a while to get used to the animation as well, because it's a bit more unique than I was expecting. Why not just Max Seeger that way? Why not? Um, I'll get a search. We'll move this. We'll get Pax. I'll, I'll do more of a detailed analysis when I've actually finished it. Like I did with Generator Rex and stuff. Then I think I need to watch Ben 10 from the beginning. I only watched it at my auntie's before, but only random episodes, so I had no idea what was going on. Now the question is, is are you going to watch it all the way through to the new new one that they did and watch the new one as well? No, just the standard one the reboot, should I of say? The, before the reboot, and I think it ends in a movie. Uh, I can't remember. Because I think he gets up to the Ultimatrix, doesn't he? Good deal. Uh, no, I think he's after the Ultimatrix. That picture from Johnny Quest, is that the original one? Because he gets the, the Ultimatrix. But yes, then he Firewall. Gets a 200 episodes and 5 movies, that is what I will watch. Because some individual, I'm not saying who, some individual put on my power tier list system that I need to do the Omni Omnitrix. <laughs> it's fine. I don't mind watching it. It's good. I mean, it is a different power system. Oh, yeah, it's really good. It is a really unique system. I wish they... Um, one cool little trick I, um, I remember from one of the episodes was... When he was a fire guy and he had a cold and it turned him into an ice guy. I thought yeah. that was quite cool. One thing which annoyed me though when it came to new series is they always keep um, getting rid of all his old powers and replacing them with new guys who were pretty much the same. It did do an interesting like, way of that, not like how Samus does where she just falls into something and loses all her powers. No, but I mean, I'm he just does, the Omnitrix means. just glitches and he just gets a different set of aliens. No, just, every time they got a new series, we, ha we wanted new figures to sell toys of. So we just made. Oh, no, it, it, it states why it doesn't work in one of the episodes. Yeah, it's but it's still it still the sold toys. It. It, because they, they all have the same. Fingers. They all have pretty much the same powers. They have a fire guy, they have this, they have that. It's all the same kind of things. And it's just it's just to sell new toys, that's all it is. It's just they could have done it a bit better if they're gonna do that. But yeah, I think at some point that he just uses a set standard ones because they're kind of 
Go twos. Also, I Who's feel like one? Gwen w kind of got. Yeah, she doesn't get treated very well. Interesting. Though. I think Gwen became a less interesting character part with her in later series. Is. I think as soon as they said that, uh, oh, by the way, Gwen doesn't use magic. She's actually just an alien using energy. It's just like, well, n why? That that was dumb. Oh, did they that's, explain that's the stupid. whole alien thing? Because I didn't see that bit. Yeah, it's stupid. She's why just half they... alien. So the other lady who um, casts spells, is she also an alien then? No. So, if you already got a, a actual sorcerer who apparently taught Gwen the powers, why do you make Gwen an alien then? That just makes no sense. There was literally no reason for it. No. Other than to just do it. Which is a bit stupid, but that's what they do sometimes. Yep. Right now. Wasn't. I mean, the episode it's, itself wasn't a bad episode, but it was just a bit like, really, any point in that? Because it does nothing for a character. Now it's living all. magic. I mean, I can't say much on this because I didn't get that far. I've just read articles and stuff on it. So yeah, now I've got to a bit where they've said she was an alien. That's not worth much that point. Yeah. Also, when they brought Kevin Ten back as Kevin Eleven, as, Kevin Eleven as Gwen's boyfriend, it just felt a bit forced. That's all I was pointing. Like Kevin, Kevin was chill. It was an incredibly annoying character. It's interesting that they brought him back after his first uh, instance, though. Oh, I mean. He's, he's fine when he's, you know, not using his alien half to absorb a bunch of energy and then go crazy. I'm sorry, I mean, that's apparently what did it. Yeah, there was a lot of dumb things. I'll get there though once I start actually watching it. Because I usually just watch them while they're editing videos, so it's not too bad. And then I need to private the Door Masters videos so, I, so people mm -hmm. can watch them before they release and stuff if they want. You know, it's like a little bit of a incentive to join the server and shit. What, Discord server? Yeah, I'm going to post the episode links to one of the bits on the server so people can watch them before they air, if they want. I was going to say, I probably want this chat to be private rather than having loads of random people in it. This chat is private. It's just the server itself. They can't join the the, uh, the talking chat. There'll just be a place where they'll just go and you can just watch them if you want. It'll be fine. I'm trying to think of random incentives because we're actually getting some subscribers now. Well, I mean, they only got two crazy incentives because at the end of the day, they're not paying us. <laughs> I have never seen a Labyrinth player so garbage in my life. Christ, this is insufferable. A rubbish Labyrinth player? Yeah, no, it's rare.
Lab is just in a miserable deck though. I'll be happy when they eventually uh, hit it. What do you think they'll hit though? Within the deck. Uh, if they hit uh, Welcome Labyrinth to one, it'll probably kill it. So they're not going to do that. Who knows? They do lots of stupid shit. They'll first do it to a card that isn't that important, and they can people can make a world around. Oh yeah, they're good like that. Like how the latest set is. Can we just release more fire support, please? Miserable. Um. Let me canco again. I like this deck. Have I got any more gems? Yes. Yeah. Are we expecting. Why am I next expecting a boundless for you, Gear, by the way? Anytime. Right, I thought it was anytime. It's, it's March, April. Fair enough. I mean, they're probably not going to do anything, but it would be nice. So, uh, what, are you, what are you wanting to ban from, from the main game? Uh, fire's way too powerful. To the extent of, if you're not playing fire in a tournament, you won't win. Mm. Hmm. Not about to do it. So you kind of need to hit Flamberge or Snake Eyes Ash to one. Which is why if I wanted to play meta right now, I'd just play um, Raid Raptor. Because you can just summon three cards out unaffected by everything. And just sit there and they can't scratch you. But it's like their grind game is so... Incredible. You, if you're not playing fire, you will not win. You shouldn't be able to make games like that. I think the OCG may, uh, put Seeker to two. If I remember right. They didn't actually ban any fire thing, they just limited, uh, semi-limited some stuff, which doesn't do anything. I forgot I was playing Mechanko and I went first. Why did I do that? You wanted a challenge. Mechanko can't play going first, it's impossible. Like I said, you wanted a challenge. Put some cards somewhere, and I don't know where. I thought I was playing Trap Tricks, that's why I went first. So have you heard what the next Yu-Gi-Oh event on Master Duel is, by the way? Oh, what is that? It's the Extreme Nibiru Duel. So what? The Extreme Nibiru Duel. Your um, game starts was... with four cards, and Nibiru is always in your first hand. That's the next event, by the way. I don't know why they think that that is a good idea, but that is what they are apparently doing. So you can run a six card deck and then they'll just give you an extra in a beer at the start of the game. Basically. Here's an Ibiru. Oh, it's not a lab player. One card. It's incredibly stupid, but that is what the next okay. event is. I don't, I don't, I don't get the reason for it. It seems a bit, a bit of a weird one. It just means that no players are ever going to be able to summon more than five times in one turn because they'll just get nibbed. So it's trying to slow the thing down a bit. So it's summon five times normally, anyway. In most meta Except players. If I'm running Vers Vernisulf, Vernisulf, I probably could. Yeah, most metal ones do, but... Oh, 
I'll give it a go, but I'm probably not going to do very well on it. Of course, there's invisible fucking wall. I mean, a five summon limit would be nice, but it'd cripple certain extra deck mechanics. So I wouldn't imagine they would. Well, it'd cripple all synchro decks. It'd cripple links. Xyz would be fine. Fusion would be fine. I mean, I could see him doing something stupid like that, but you never know. Right now, I've got a question for you because you are a man of culture and you have seen One Piece and you have seen Naruto. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? What's better, the bring back Sasuke arc or the take back Robin arc? Take back Robin. Yeah, I, I'd say that too. Well, the main the thing is that they do get Robin back. Also, is a one is also another major difference. Nam is likable. Robin is way more night likable than Sasuke. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Robin, yeah, not Nami. Yeah, I know what you meant. We weren't particularly rooting for Sasuke, but to be fair, how Shippuden should have gone, really, is Sakura or someone should have killed Sasuke later on. This, that might have been a better, better ending, really. Well, like how they forgave him of all his sins. Yeah, and that the was whole... Dumb. Yes, let's have the girl get together, get together with a guy who beat her and tried to murder her. Because domestic violence is good. He was just having a bit of an emo yeah. phase. It's fine. Member of the Akatsuki killed your family. Let's go see the last surviving member of the Akatsuki. Sasuke. Also, I I still think Conan should not have been killed. No. He, no female character was treated well in that show. Not a single one. Tamari, maybe a little bit. But off screen, and, and, and it's not off screen. Uh, and that got a lot of love. Tintin was off screen. Actually, and that didn't get half as much as she needed to be no. for, for being a love interest of the main character. She wasn't given half as much as she needed to have. Well, that's because originally, and this was kind of stated before, the ori originally it um, Ishimoto kind of had it planned for Naruto and Sakura together. That would have been horrible. And then he changed it later on due to all the fans wanting him, uh, Naruto and Hanata together. To set up loads of stuff for Naruto and Sakura. Set, you can see it quite easily set up. And Why? Then she treats him like a piece it. of dirt. Well, there's actually certain things. There's loads of like comparisons to make between the fact of Sakura and Naruto's relationship very much starts to resemble uh, Min Minto and Kusuna, uh, Kushina. A See, lot. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be in that relationship because Kushina is kind of an abusive piece of crap to me. I would not want to walk in, say something, and then be punched in the face. I mean, that's but that's just me. Way. But yeah, I mean... I'm just saying, this was a setup for I, uh, it, and well, then it changed. In general, it, I'm not why... a Sundere fan. I'm just not. No, but that's why Hanata didn't get the development that it needed for the love relationship because he changed it part way through to make it that, and that's why. Um, but he always said that he he didn't really know how to write females, and um, and that's why quite a lot of them aren't particularly good. 
Or did you know Karama's him? back? Oh, he's not dead anymore. No. Good. Oh, you can't kill the spirits anyway. Uh, he was removed from existence. But now he's fine. Do you know why he's fine? Why is he fine? Because Naruto's daughter said so. Huh? Why does she get to say so? Because she's the uh, Jinjuriki of the Nine Tails now. Wait, what? Hmm? So someone in, um, falsely in the dam and uh, put her in her? It's, I don't think it been it's assumed that since she's a child of technically Naruto and the Nine Tails, that she just has Nine Tail powers, and that's why a piece of him lives in her or something. But we know from previous things that's not how it works. Not a lot of Jinjurikis have been stated in the series to have kids, so it's plausible. Stupid. Um, it's stupid, but plausible. I know in like the second, the previous, before Kushina, the Nine Tails host have kids. Um, and obviously Kushina and Naruto. Uh, yeah, but yeah, he did have the Nine Tails. <laughs> Yeah, but Minato's, not Minato, I can't remember her name now. Uh, she was losing Mac as well. Her kids didn't have it. Well, the may have done, it's just never been mentioned because they didn't need to mention it. Mention. You never know with this sort of escalation shit. I still find that to be a lot of bollocks. Um, oh, it's horrible. It's, stupid. it's incredibly stupid. You don't want to be in Jinjuriki because it eventually has to be extracted out of you and you died immediately. The only time. Anyone survived it. It doesn't Isn't have to be yet. extracted ever. Now market. that everyone's friends. But it's not anything to do that. It's power surges and stuff like that. I think no. you, um, you, you probably get away with taking it out someone now, especially if it's your BFF. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I don't need your power anymore. You can go into this new guy there. And they're up. Okay. They have the power of karma now. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. It's stupid. Incredibly stupid, but that's where it is. <laughs> oh, now you're getting some memes like if I will. Now we're getting uh, some of the, the memes. That's bad, though. I need to misplace some cards, and I don't know where they are. Yeah, don't misplace things. I just had to buy some commons because I lost them. I would like to say the irony is is that I've I've already purchased a few more of this card for other things and I'm like I can't find any of them. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're someone. Uh, it's been my draw phase for the last three minutes, by the way. You're doing well. I thought so. Stay potato. Don't need you just yet. God's sake, stop. Just stop. <laughs> Oh god, that was that's the news for today, isn't it? Mm. God, he's still going.
Oh, fuck off, game. Those are yes. people with anti-matter rifles and the rapid shots with it. And they are bullet sponges. They can't miss. And my only long-range gun has insane recoil. God damn it. Hmm. About right. Well, and something that's... I haven't versed anybody with a fifteen hundred pound dex at locals. No, I don't think anyone. I mean, I know one person does, but I want. Why? Why would you spend that much on a deck right now in ban list season? Why would you? Unless you're entering proper like tournaments with major prize money. Why would you? Spend that much money on the deck and card games anyway, to be fair. I mean, I know one guy who does do tournaments, so... Uh, that's why he has an, a deck that expensive, but... A lot of people... It, it's honestly depressing that I really do like this game. I've played a lot of this game and spent a lot on this game. But it's so stupid that Konami is that... Fucking retarded, right? But like they're pushing away everybody to go to other games. That is so stupid. To be fair, loads of companies being really stupid things recently. Like Microsoft. Re uh... Yep. It's definitely oh. a stupid thing Microsoft has done. Hmm? What Microsoft has done. Well, you asking me what they've done, or you, you agree no, with I mean, I agree that it's stupid what they've done. Yeah. How to, uh... How to alienate your fan base. I love that yeah, game. That... Pretty much what all of them are doing, isn't it? It's just, we're going to just do this now. It's just like, like, why? Why? Because they are stupid. Because... They decided to let, uh, they took a look at China and how they run things and went, yes, that seems like a good idea. Yes, I would like that as well. Hmm. Konami's not going to do a wake-up call, they don't care. I I'm just amazed that Sony is letting Stella Blade happen, considering all their. They're not going to cancel a game. They, they want. They yeah. need money. No, but they they forced other games to like retrospectively. Um, well, the thing is, it's an eighteen. Is wow. it an eighteen? Yeah. It is an eighteen. Oh, is it really? I thought mm -hmm. it was only fifteen. No, it's an eighteen. Mm. It is some of some other games um force them to put like lens flares everywhere. But And then they just someone... not sell it to them and go to a different place. It's not that hard for them. No, I, I remember the um some people in the demo found out that if they do certain colorization options they make a nook almost naked and, and the devs went, Oh, we didn't know it was a thing. Huh. Well uh We'll add a special suit in for you, which does the exact same thing. You can wear it, but it makes you have no health. Yeah. And so, Sony the idea loves controversy. Armless, They're not going to cancel it. An armless uh, outfit, which I thought was quite funny. Yeah. They, they love the controversy of it all. Oh, yeah. Didn't My they favorite. sack someone because of it? Uh, it it's... was one of the... It was a different game. Or it's like one of the staff. They just sacked them straight away, yeah. Because they uh, complained about the appeal, I think as a female staff member, yeah. Well, yeah, but if they if that decision would be to make them make less money, I'd sack them too. I mean, it's like that one person in in Zomnak who complained that they got sacked after they were screaming their head off over the fact of this character had boobs and they're very small boobs, mind you, but they complained like crazy over it. So. People on Craig Craig, that's all we can say. And, 
apparently they, they were very proud of the fact of that they just keep screaming Lombax's titties all the time. <sighs> what, what losers. Yeah, quite a lot of them are, to be fair. Let's try... Try Trap Tricks for a bit. It's probably the man most... Uh, the deck I actually can play the best. Oh, I, want, I need more gems. I want to do a 10 pull before I go. But I'm only going to be on for about another hour. I want games to play tomorrow, so I can't be too late. I need to finish Digimon. I'm in the final arc. And do you know how I know? I checked. I'm right before the final boss, so I'm, I just spoiled everything about the game to myself, except how it ends. Mm. Um, I, I just need to actually play some games. I've not really played up this week. And obviously when I tried to play Transistor, it just literally died on me. Ironically. Holy sir. Uh, Mandis. Mantis for Arachno Camper, probably. Come on. If you want to do something, do it now. Have you heard that? They've changed the English dictionary to add Isakai today. Have they? Yeah, it's an official English word now. Nice. Nice. And people are going to pronounce it slightly differently, is my question there. I assume so. Someone posted, What's the best Isakai? I'm like, Digimon. Yep. No one said a thing. It is, a, it is a really good one, that is. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yep. The media are, are mad at making because people are making attractive ladies when that has sold really well for the history of the world. And if people want to make money, that is what they should do. So, uh, technically, uh, Brad... Um... Dragon Ball is also an it guy. As is uh, Sailor Moon uh, and Card Captors. Is it? Well, Card Captors isn't Carl Reed just reincarnated into someone else. Yeah, because that is the it's uh, in the same universe as Subasa Reservoir Chronicles and Triple X Holic. So technically, if you know that, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there you go. That's some more. I like the and people who were saying it, a lot. Uh, she doesn't even look like that. It doesn't look like a real person, but it's based on a real person. And it looks like that person. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh we're talking about Starbird. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, though, they think that um, women... That women... Uh, there's no such thing as a woman with boobs, so... It tells you a lot about how their mentality is. Yeah, they're just idiots. I can guarantee Ninja. you, if you have a standard game, and you have a standard game with boobs in it, the one with boobs will sell more. It just will. I mean, even if you don't want to have a, how to say, primit uh, fan service game, not every female's flat chested. Nope. It just doesn't make sense. And, you know, it's funny how. Are you saying so it goes many... against diversity, Dave? Mm. Yes. And to be fair, sometimes, you know, you just have issues of people going about how the patriarchy is, patriarchy, yeah. Except for now, it's not the paycheck which is destroying women's rights, it's the uh, people who always claim to fight for them. It's quite funny. 
Because they really seem to be trying to eradicate uh, women, actual women, from video games. Yeah. Have you seen that Pokemon Go thing that they how they've forced anyone with a female avatar into this male-looking avatar now? They basically gave her extra like sixty pounds for no reason. Changed the jawline, changed the hip, changed the chest. Basically, you can't have a female-looking character in Pokemon Go now. Yep. There's literally no point in doing that. It's also like, do you hate women? <laughs> kind they of... clearly do. That's that's going in my defense when because they always they always try to play certain cards. I just go, well, you, you clearly hate women. <laughs> just I have every really hand trap on the sun. He is not playing this game. Should make a drawing meme. About how to draw women. Okay, I'm not oh, saying that this has camera. happened to me, but this could happen to me. Because I'm knocking all their cards right. over. That is feasible at my house. Okay, why is my why is my teammate oh, shooting man. me, you stupid machine? Ancient pixie dragon. It looks like they just opened the door and it's just fell. It's just... Yeah. I haven't had anything that serious happen to me yet, but... Well, I did, have... I did just finish offloading all my commons, so... Less likely to happen now. Yeah, I, I've got, like, no commons left at all now. I've got, like, two 4Ks left of just the best commons. And I now have like 11 4K boxes spare in loft that I'm not using. We'll get there though. So one second, I've got Nib and Imper, and that's fine. Attempt to well, that's if you tried breaking into my gaming room. Yeah, that's where all my most of my cards live. Which I'm redecorating soon, so that's gonna be fun. I need another trophy cabinet, and I found one that is ideal, but it's two centimeters too big. Do you know how two annoying that is? If something is too big, you you can't just sand it down. A trophy <laughs> cabinet made of glass? No. Oh, glass cabinet. Just uh, measure your entire room and just look for that spot that is just two centimetres higher than the rest. It won't fit in my room, it's got to go in my gaming shed. And all my shelves are too big, and it's two centimetres too long. I mean, I can show you what it looks like, I suppose. Gutting. So you get the gist of what I wanted.
I was going for this one. Cause it, and I wanted a corner one. And it's 50 centimetres both ways. If it was 48, it'd fit. Hmm. Really annoying. No way to uh, make more space for it. No, my, it's my uh, bookshelves are too what long. Uh. But if I take the skirting off, I could probably fit it in. Jamie can't just uh, take off the feet. I mean, it'd still probably be too long, but... four point two centimetres. I'll try, um, measuring again. Another British lad failed by the metric system. Never. I never get failed, me. Let's go... Mermelio. I'm gonna give this guy infinite draws. This is definitely going to be a very strange deck. Darkness. Like, if I could find one that's just slightly smaller than this, it'd be ideal. Like, I think all of the ones are 50 by 50. And I couldn't find another place that sells them. Maybe home base does, but... I don't know. I'll have a see. Glass, um, trophy, cabinet, yes. Ooh, Ikea has some. Let's check them. That's an okay trophy cabinet. Not what I'm after, but it's fine. And that one is 37 by 37. Too small. I want a corner one. Ash Blossom. No. Right now, camper. Yeah, he scooped. Of course, he did. Yeah, because like the only other ones, eight hundred pounds. See, I just want an easy corner one that isn't too grand. And these are the only Have ones, and they're slightly too big. Amazon. Hmm? Have you tried Amazon? I have not, but I will do that now. That is what I shall do next.
Hmm. My YouTube has closed itself, so I can't see what anyone's saying. That is not a good sign. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, I say whatever, I can't even see what anyone's saying, so... Uh I'll load it up on my phone. See if anyone said, oh, hang on. No, that's certainly a hand of all time. Where's live on here? Oh, fuck's sake. Is any, has anyone said anything recently in the chat? Because my computer's screwed. Uh, no. I'm just gonna say I'm seeing if I can figure out how to do this. Hmm. Oh come on, game! That's bullshit, and you know it. Oh, runic, lovely. Oh, Wallace just said, "What an impress impressive trap trick hand." <laughs> I don't play trap tricks, but seeing as you didn't get any. Yeah, my task bar is froze. That's not a good sign. Well, let's hope the stream doesn't freeze. Oh, and fuck I off. just jinxed it. Hmm. I have an alt tab. Do you know how annoying it is? Hmm? Same. Yeah. I load up Task Manager. There we go, it's on for us. Still need for this. It's fine, it's on for us now. We're okay. That was a pain. I loaded up IKEA and it froze my computer. For sure, it's how much uh, this split camp in it. Know. I type it in as trophy cabinet. Mantis, that's a good draw. Very good draw. So in Mantis. That's right, Mantis. Cosmic. On my imperm. Eh. Why not? So there's one. That's... Not the style I'm after, though. Now, I understand you can't see what I'm looking at right now, but I'll bring it up to when it's not my turn. Uh, Mantis will add a retina camper. Um, I don't need that. We'll go Sarah.
And we'll go Arachno Camper. Get Sarah to get a trap hole. Time. Yeah, time space. Phase of combat. Swing. Swing again. This guy's name is Why Are You Toxic, by the way. Disgusting. Actually, I'll just Google it. Amazon. Corner. Trophy. Cabinet. They don't have any. Oh no, they do. It's fine. Well, that's so... What? How big is it though? Mermelio. Who's Mermelio? Get this. This. Go this. Go this. Go this. The Amazon ones do not tell me how um how big it is. It's super inconvenient. Uh oh. In German, I didn't. Swing. Swing. End phase. Oh no, this one's fifty nine. That's too big as well. Yeah, how can you play Runic and say, oh, you're really toxic for playing Runic? How about no kaiju for you, sir? No. I mean, he's playing Chain Strike, really? I mean, sure, cause 800 damage. I get more stuff. I'll take a mantis. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't add up very well. Ooh, Kurikara. Why though? Because I can just do this, right? No Kurokara for you, sir. Yeah, I should have... If I'd have added up correctly, I would have summoned Mermelio for game. Maxi for game! Yeah, Maxi for game. Let's go. Fuck it. This one's 70. I keep finding them, but they're just too big. That's just, that's ideal. It, it seems the Argos one's the, by far the best. Hmm. 
Something like that, maybe? How big is this one? Seventy by fifty. Too big too. I will continue my search. By the way, I'm gonna call it for now. Yeah, I'm I'm off in about half an hour anyway. I just wanna have one or two more games. But right, I'll see you later then. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Hmm. Finding these trophy cabinets is not ideal. Maybe I can find a way to get an extra two centimeters somehow. Hmm. I like making them quite tall though. I'm not super busy tomorrow, I'm just steady tomorrow, I suppose. Just making new decks, or just... I might nip into town for a bit and get some stuff, but that's about it, really. I just want to finish Digimon tomorrow, more than anything else. Ah, I should have summoned uh, Sarah before I did that. Get a whole tire. And we'll go. Now we'll do Sarah. Furica. So I've been planning on how to do the. Um, how to play Deity Wars videos as well. I've been, I've been planning quite a bit of stuff recently to get sorted. Sorry. We're getting there slowly, though. Oh, we'll but sure. Get Arachna Camp. That, that works like. thing that's flagging me behind right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's just artwork, yeah. The only thing that will be better here. Is if I had a, a trap card to activate. Yeah. It is unfortunately denied. I did find a cool light novel that you, I've never seen before. That, if you want to have a look at that. What is it? Dragon Girl's Ascension. Ladies ring kind of, Well, so I haven't read it yet, but it seems... She gets dragon powers somehow. But what's unique about it is it's, uh, from what I can tell, a novel someone wrote and Amazon made it into a book for them. Which is, yeah. I've never seen before. Because the, the book doesn't like, it, like have artwork and stuff. So I thought, you know what? Seems interesting. I'll give it a go. Yeah, my stereotypical blue eyes player. Let's go. Let's go. I knew I'd have to get a blue eyes player at some point. One blue eyes boy. Yeah, so I got Dragon Girl's Ascension. I've got a couple of random ones, like some PS5 games. The Territory Defense, Isekai. Some random bits. Yeah, I haven't thought of that Magician Play for a while. Been rereading the um, Magic Academy. Oh, Reborn as a Magic Academy? Yeah. Really that. Did that ever finish? Uh, not as far as I'm aware. I mean, it was good, but there was there though. 
Hmm? It was good from what was there. Yeah, it's, no, it's got quite a lot. Oh, there's Jet. I can get rid of Jet in a second anyway. Bit, so. And I know he's... He did release some of it on uh, Amazon. Did he? Yeah. Ooh. So you can get the... Digital... I've um, I got up to date with um, Sword King in a fantasy world as well. God, that mm -hmm. it, that is good. You know, uh, Sword King in a fantasy world. Uh, let's see how we call it. Wow, what's that one? This one. Sword King. The boy. Oh, the latest chapter was glorious. I was wondering if they printed it in, um, Volumes, I'm just checking Amazon now. If they did, I'd be buying it, but I don't think they do. Why would you not print my things? Hello? I am sucking with trap tricks right now. Sort of. I guess blue eyes. Uh, yeah, let's um, let's nope that from existence. Let's go with this. Go away. Does it feel like I'm bullying him right now? Oh, he had another one. Of course he did. Go away. God's sake, Jet Dragon, just go away. Look at my Melio. Jet Dragon is the only thing that makes Blue Eyes work. If they didn't have that, they'd be so screwed. That's what other trap tricks do I need to play? I think Pingu would be pretty nice right now. Let's go, Pingu. He's got 6k. How much damage am I at? 33. Um, Dianaea. Tell you, little kid, that Santa's not real. I mean, he got to he got to platinum. This blue eyes boy. Something. Probably carried by a jet. Either that, or he just wanted to have a. We're done. Detach like material. Add a trap tricks to hand, which will be uh, Mantis for now. I, I could probably kill him. If I got the extra 3,000 buff, 35. Yeah, if I went for. Atopus here. With Sarah. I'll try that again. Uh, Atopus with this. This and this. That should definitely be enough damage. Yeah, I'm just playing ladder. I'm not very good at ladder. Because I only get a... a the weekend to play on. So I'm just doing some uh, trap tricks ladder currently. Slowly. Uh, bullying blue eyes players. 
But I haven't had a single decent game today. I had some Exodia jank. Uh, some a couple of Snake Eyes players. I haven't lost to a Snake Eyes player yet, though. That's something. I started in Plat 5 today because it was just started again from scratch, but we're getting there. 10k. Let's do a 10 roll. What do I want? What do I want to play? Uh, I'd rather not play this. Hmm. Oh, loose Pokemon packs. I miss buying loose packs, me. I really do. I used to really enjoy buying loose stuff. Um, I wanted to finish Weather Painters. Because I wanted to be annoying and douchey to people. I think the only ones I need is this one and she's not in a she's not in a pack. She's in the master pack only, and I think Zeroboros is. Yeah. There's not much point in me getting the the weather painter pack. I've got that finished. That's finished. Cool. I can just buy any pack then. Let's try the new one. For, for lols. Or do I go for... All arts. But that's a terrible pack. I'd never play that. I'd never play that pack. Eh, I suppose I can play Volcanics. Well, this one's super. Cool, let's go. That's fine. Five hollows and an ultra rare. Well, five potential hollows. It doesn't always mean hollows. That was fine. Because Volcanics do have their own Kaiju. So you, you could play Volcanics if you wanted to. I mean, I checked. It cost me 12 URs from this set alone to make Volcanics playable. Which is a real shame. And I do like Volcanics. Hmm, that's fine. Did I post into chat before what my last uh, royal was? I think I did. Artifact Moral Tack was my latest royal. Terrible. Oh. Unchained. I mean, I could. Oh, no, I could play Unchained. I mean, Unchained's not terrible, I suppose. Uh, I'm not playing Dark World. You need three of these. Luckily, it is a UR, though. That's something. I'll say it's great, but you know, it's something. Nothing again. Lovely. Like, I wanted to build Battling Boxer from this set, but I know for the amount of UR dust that you'd need, that they would really suck. Because they can't put up negates or anything to stop the fireboards right now. There's like no point in me trying. Which is a shame, because I would like to play them. But that's fine. We'll get there with the decks I currently have. Two Unchained Soul Yammer. Yeah, bro. I totally need another two.
Why is that an SR? I need that. For no reason whatsoever. I want three copies of a Shoker Pillar, but it's a UR in this game. I don't know why it's a UR in this game, but it is. That's the um, on summon search any equip spell. I need it for uh, Mikanko, but yeah, I'm not spending another three more URs on it because it's kind of terrible. So that was fine. Got my Xyz armor, boys. I did get ring announcer. That was fine for boxes. Not terrible. So firewall says, uh, if comic book stores just put more product to sit on the shelves to rot, it would be nice. It would be nice. I mean, we know why they're not, because the industry is not doing very well right now. But I agree. There's a lot of back stock that I would like to get from the stores, you know, to support local businesses and stuff. But it's just not going to happen, because all the latest series are just terrible. And I really do feel for them. Because the people who are running comic book stores are fans. Who are doing it, not so much to make a living, because you can't make a huge living from comics. But more for, you know, just uh, making a community and talking to people about stuff and they just can't. I will say that you can oh, definitely just make stuff in general. Comics. Just... Not just one. Yeah, I don't think like the comic and book industries are doing well since COVID. Because people are just used to, well, if they don't have it, I'll just buy it online. Like, I had to do that for my latest uh, PS5 game. Because our local game store, called Game, doesn't order in new games. It's incredibly Ooh. stupid. So I just had to stand in front of them when they said they didn't have the game and, and order it on Amazon. It's I, mean, a bit ridiculous. I mean, they weren't happy, but they understood. If they don't have my game, like, it's like I could order it from them, but then it's like, do you want it in four days or do you want it tomorrow? So I just got it tomorrow. Yeah, I would have wanted it tomorrow as well. And because I, I needed to play it the next day, but just because I didn't want to go back. Yeah. I mean, I haven't played it yet, but I've, I've installed it and everything and got all its updates. So as soon as I finish Duel Masters, I can. Because Duel Masters, from what I remember, is five playthroughs and each one six hours. So I'll say my first playthrough will take me nine, because I need to relearn how to play it. And I can mess about with my first playthrough, and each playthrough will be faster. So I should be able to finish it in a week or so. And then I can move on to the long game. Which you all know, because I posted it. It is Unicorn Overlord. I've heard it's really good. It has lots of good um, ratings. It is very much a type of game. Seeing, because it's... Quite, it's um, uh, it's like strategy. Final Fantasy Tactics, but there's also maps to go to certain areas, and it's got JRPG elements. I think it looks pretty fun. Yeah, it looks a lot like the um, kind of combat system from Fire Emblem is what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Not that I've seen what the combat system is like, but... I could see it. But... 
He seemed like he was that kind of grid based thing. Is that a thing you've noticed recently, Firewall, or is it just something that's just come up now, like uh, price gouging? Because I've noticed that a little bit at our local stores as well. Not as much, but a lot of the options that were there before are more expensive now. And it's kind of annoying. So, like, there's been comic shops that have tried to pop up near me, and it's like not a single one has survived. And the main reason is that they never had any stocking, which was very bizarre to me. I mean, it's nice to have like newer bits, but if it's just a, sh a store that just sells back issues, I think they'd do fine. They had some of the newer stuff in, but they didn't have it. anything. Anything that you want, you had to kind of uh, go and order with them, and it's just like... Well, just... It is an annoying problem of, like, you want to get into a series, and you see Volume 6 on the shelf, but they never have Volume 1. For the internet? Unfortunately for them. Fucking Jesus. Super poly, really? Uh, really? Okay. I ain't fought a zombie player in a while. Nether Soul Dragon. <clears throat> I've got no issue with Nether Soul Dragon. It's not just a, a recent thing then. Yeah, I've, I've noticed since like COVID bits, a lot of things are vastly more expensive now. Which is a massive shame. Oh. It's Eldritch Zombie. Like, even sleeves for cards are. They used to be like five ninety nine and like eight ninety nine a pack now. That adds up. Uh, the ones that are selling Mulberry Geek. They're like, you can only get the Dragon Shield ones, which are the more expensive ones. It's most people who play the Dragon Shield ones will only ever need to buy one or two sets of Dragon Shield because they're that good. And they don't wear out that fast. Especially if you put um, double sleeves on them. But you can double sleeve now, and it's like when... Well, m most stores don't sell double sleeves, but... For us who make multiple decks, sure, but for the standard fan who's just playing tournaments, they'll only have one deck, so it won't matter to them. It doesn't help that, well, in the card shops it, in, in particular, that the recent stock of card games have been garbage. Yeah, they've not been uh, stocking cards uh, games as much, have they? Not unless someone really wants it and is willing to pay. Unless it sells like you, well, some of the Yu Gi Oh sets. Not all of them, because some of them don't sell. Uh, One Piece is doing quite well recently. That's uh, One Piece and Lorcana. Probably doing? holding them up to an extent. It's actually quite. A decent card game is Lokana. I've heard so. From what I've played and what I've uh, seen, it's new. Yeah. Also, your stores in particular just sell mostly. Famous Marvel and DC stuff. I get that. Quite a lot of... Well, from what I can see in our one, indie sell more, but they don't stock those because they're not as well known and people don't come in for them. Yeah. That's generally the case with indies. That annoys me so much, Firewall, you have no idea. 
I'll walk into a game into our manga shop, Forbidden Planet, and just walk down the stairs to where the manga are. And the amount of people who were like, but JJK is the best series in the world, I'm like, just stop. You do not know what you're talking about. But it totally is. And they're completely wrong about blatant bits in the story, and I'm not, I'm not correcting them for this, I'm just going to let them be wrong. It's so annoying. I watch JJK online and it's it's really good and all this stuff. I'm like, no, it's not. The story is the same. The last 20 vo uh, chapters have been exactly the same. It's not even drawn well. And its story is pretty generic, but... I suppose that comes with reading more things to see how generic things are. Like, to a person who's never really gone to that genre before, I bet Chainsaw Man's amazing. You know, stuff like that. Seven volumes of, of Soul Eater. Without ordering any of the other volumes. Soul Eater's so good. It's a, one of those gems that not many people know about, but it's really good. Here. I prefer the fire si uh, the the yeah, system of Soul Eater to Fire Force, but I do like the story of Fire Force better. Which is odd, considering I hate fire powers in like all media. Yeah, that is strange. But then again, they don't use firepower, so it's fine. That's kind of why I liked uh, the main character of Kaiko Hitman Reborn as well. His fire is not the same. He punches people in his stomach. He can freeze people with it too. He also just and his fire can turn people to stone. What does it do? Petrification, freezing... Why? Because uh, his element is harmony, therefore his lion can roar and turn people to stone. How does that work? It just does. It literally just does. They are so zen that they just turn into statues. Why can an owl cast illusions that are perfect and are the ultimate of all illusions? Just does. I just like how Demon Eye Guy is just like really good at everything he does. But Firewall's brought up a point there though, like. You can't blame them for flocking to it because of what genre it is and it's made for that genre. No. I honestly, if I was growing up with it too, I'd probably take that over American comics right now. I probably shouldn't, but I'd probably take it over comics. Because comics are also more expensive now. Like for for Six ninety nine for us, you'd get one full volume, which is just that story, and that story continues. And they're like, what, hundred and about hundred pages? Our comics aren't even near that. Which is a shame. It depends on um what you're buying, innit? If you're just buying like an issue, probably gonna be spending about three quid or so. Probably a bit more nowadays. And then there's is like, the you need this specific run of volume. this specific issue for the character you like. Manga is just, this is volume one. So This is volume two. I will only say that is for Marvel and DC yes. mainly. I, I, I agree. Because uh, they, I will say Image probably has a, a similar thing probably with like Spawn and a few others there, but... But yeah, but no, it's that, I think that's why, personally, the comics aren't doing as good. 
because it's not that comics are doing it as good, it's that DC and Marvel are now crashing, which is bringing it back down to what it actually is. Yeah. So, so when people say, well, I think anyway, when people say comics aren't doing that good, it's like, no, DC and yeah. Marvel Generally when I, I understand totally when a person says comics aren't doing well, they don't know that they don't know it, but they are just saying superhero comics specifically. Comics are doing fine. They're doing, doing fine. as fine as they've it's, always done. And to be fair, I like going to, um, what was it like, Thought Bubble that we used to go to. Yeah, well, we used that to pick up all just, the newest issues. I just, I just go there and you just buy, you just find some random comic there. Because obviously there's... there's yeah, because I, we, we, I went and every time I went, I bought a new indie comic or something new. Yeah. What did no, I get last time? time? I, went, I just bunch, bought a bunch of uh, comics. Yeah, last time I got Punch Face. Punch a face, comic yeah. about punching people in the face. It's literally what it was called, that's and that's okay. exactly what it does. Another one, another title that is what it is and what it does. That's another point there. A lot of people buying comics as well only know Marvel and DC. Yeah. That's all they know. I, I, yeah, one. I totally agree. Gen 13. I will do that in a second. I just need to do this turn. Alright, I've got tons of comics here that are Marvel and DC. I have got a few Marvel, quite a few Marvel though. I mainly I think like. I do. I think I've the only like one the I've vaguely close yeah, I've, I've got is Witchblade. So I've got literally like the X23 comics. Yeah, 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 you got them. Uh, the new Wolf, the all new Wolverine. Um, but I've literally just got that that series set, and I've got like the Superior Spider-Man, which was Doc Ock, Spidey. I think that's pretty much it. Mastery. DC, I've got a Harley Quinn comic. Because it was done by Seven Sedgwick. Stefan Sedgwick. And a few other ones. Is that a comic firewall gen 13? Oh, it is. I will find that in a second. That does look cool, to be fair. To be fair, the um, Marvel's thing with... It has superheroes. Obviously, it has mutants. Everyone likes heroes. But for some reason, they hate mutants. Yeah, I don't know why. This guy saves us, but he's a mutant. I don't like him. This guy saved us. He's an alien. We like him. Why? He, he makes no sense. Right, so this is Gen 13 he asked me to check out. I think it looks all right. Oh, yeah, that seems familiar. It is on, it is on Amazon, too, so I could... I just saw one then on um, Amazon in stock. There we go. 303 pages. That's how many pages they should have. Yeah. That's a good comic. It's like, it's like when I was buying the, um, the Power Rangers comics. They're all in giant bumper volumes now, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I think with uh, comics, especially ones that releases issues, 
you kind of just gotta wait for them to do the big bumper one which is kind of irritating but with the power rangers ones in particular they go in story so they bunk all the story into giant bumper volumes which i really appreciate I might get Legend of the White Dragon next. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's called. I might get that one. Pretty good. Enjoy. So yeah, this one's not vast. It does look interesting. I might give it a go. If I had my notebook, I would totally be writing it in my notebook right now. But I've misplaced it, and I can't remember where I misplaced it. Yes, I don't care about your best deal, do it. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, he's, he's playing Gimmick Puppet Lock. Absolute scrub. He's playing Gimmick Puppet Lock. Lock. Why wouldn't he be? The phase of combat. Cool. What you got for me? Attacking Pingu. Stuff. Ooh, G Jim Lee. He's this. He is a real good comic book artist. Yeah. Alright, what can I use to win right now? What extra deck things could I use? A Zeus would be fine. Image is good. I kind of prefer some Dark Horse myself, but recently they've been... terrible. That was mainly because uh, they used to uh, they used to print a lot of my really cool stuff. This. Uh, this. 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 White Woman Jump Scare. Punch. Dark Horse have uh, done a lot of my uh, most obscure light novels, so I've always appreciated that. 
I'm remembering off the top of my head though. And I've covered my shelf with my door so I can't look at my shelf. That's a shame. Holly. Oh, of course he did. I really want to win this game too. Yeah, for, for me, it's like Dark Horse print basically anything you want. So it's like, they'll print anything a person asks them to do. Yeah, Dark Horse is just the publishing now. Uh, yeah. So sometimes yes. they do get bad names with stuff, but I've... A lot of stuff that I've got is Dark Horse. Yeah. Mine's either Dark Horse or Image, mainly. Image for comics, yeah. I think, and then Dark Horse for the obscure jank, at least for me. Oh. Very good. Mainly because Top Cow uh, use um, Image Comics as their publisher. Looks like it's still going. I'm waiting for this nib. Of the Guardian Camera. Who plays two Guardian Camera? Interesting. <laughs> you can't negate the effect of nib, it's not on the field. Yes, no, you do not the monster. Well done, nib. Oh, hmm. Brandon Fusion was limited. How did he play two this turn? That must have been last turn because it is a hard one spot there. Yeah, little annoying. Oh! Someone has taste on Facebook now. Huh? They posted this. The Kinichi art. Oh, that's some good artwork. I, lo I love tipping people with taste. Out. I mean, if they like that, then they should like original uh, Breaker. Breaker is so good. Mm. Those Dianae is probably the best one. I can't really do anything though. 
I need my last card to be a trap. Okay, the comic book industry isn't dying. It DC and Marvel just so aren't DC and Marvel's hold on it is dying. But since a lot of people only know that particular part, it may seem that way. Like, there will always be an industry for comics. It's just like, once it goes out of mainstream again, there'll always be a people buying them. I mean, I've chatted to Nat about it multiple times before. It's like, People just think it's dying. Some parts of it is. As in the industry as a whole, no. Like, um, what was it, last year or the year before, when the major when some of the major publishing companies started to go under, that hurt them hard. Like that that really did. And I don't think they're gonna be able to bounce back from that, to be fair. It's also help if they did decent stories. It would also help if the MCU was doing better right now. Because a lot of it was carried by the MCU stories. And at least it boosted it a little. I mean, it also doesn't help that when they're doing their um, monthly reports on top, uh, you know, top uh, visual novels, or I think that's what they call them. It's always manga. That doesn't help them. Well, that's also due to the fact that manga is is that bring them something that it's because. It's like when man when comics were failing, well, seemingly failing in Marvel and DC, people went to, everybody went to manga then. And it's like they've, they took their opportunity and they stuck that landing and t took a big portion of it. We'll do Pudica. I don't like normal in Pudica, but... Maxi. That's fine, I'll get one draw. Unless I want to go super over the top. Let's do one copy of Sarah. Like, I think certain people have started to notice now that it's like when they made Spider-Man again, the latest one, where he's with Mary Jane again, and it's how it should have always been, and that's sold. They're finally, sold really they're well. getting there. That's all they need to do. Just do that. I think, I think the uh, whole thing where everything needs to be uber depressing and everything like that is kind of no one really wants any of those it's anymore. because there's no paragons anymore it's always but what happens if he was darker just make a character who saves people for the sake of saving people and so long as he's interesting people will buy it yeah that's just what people yeah. do that's what they've always done And isn't that one reason why, more than likely, manga does so well as, as they have a lot of oversight in what they're writing it? Yeah, like, would you rather get a hero comic as they've written it, or start with volume one of Boku uh, of uh, just My Hero Academia? It's Which is a right. kid um, who's not, who's, you know, down on his luck, doesn't, he's not as powerful as everyone else. But he's given that opportunity and he tries. People learn lessons like that, which they used to learn from comics, but can't anymore. I 
and yeah, he's a very small portion of MCU fans. But it also gives, uh, you know what I mean? It's like if people see that the Iron Man movie is coming out, people are probably going to be more likely to buy Iron Man. But yeah, totally get totally get what you mean. Like it's like the values aren't there anymore. It's honestly really annoying. Hello Galaxy. Oh okay. That is certainly a deck. Do they though? Because from what I've read and got interviews on with comics, people will just give them the IP of an entire character and just go, there you go, do this. Yeah, as I'm aware, that's how it kind of works. Not guys. many people do the manga one, like they won't really give it to another person to do, like an entire IP, unless they trust them sort of thing. Like that was why um, the One Piece one was great, because it... He went to Japan, didn't he? And he spoke to Oda about it, and he gave him a straw hat just to symbolise that he trusted him with the project. That's kind of what we need. God, I, I would prefer, I would have liked them to be stingy right now. All it takes is for one person to go, uh, you, your pitch for this character is garbage, you're not doing it, and that will save a lot of the Industry's problems. Well, if they used, yeah, and if they used to be stingy in the past, that could also signify as to why those stories back then might have been so much better. Because they were stingy and they were critical of what people were writing. Do you remember that comic that they made last year? Or it might have been the year before, which was the woman with menopause powers. <laughs> who could swing around like Spider-Man using her arm hair. Do you remember that? I do. Uh, I vaguely recall. I do. That should not have been printed. Ever. Someone should have just gone up to her and slapped her in the face and just said, No. We're not doing I that. Mean, I mean, fair enough. That's an idea that they've had and they've went with and that's all fair and good. Oh, I don't think anyone really wanted the black comic, in my honest opinion. Yeah. Was a Yeah, it was just I wouldn't say unneeded, but it wasn't particularly what I'd say everyone would desire. If people were more materialistic and more capitalist right now and just said, Will this make me money? If the answer is no, then it doesn't get done. I think it'd be in a better place right now. The same with MCU. Did they really need to make Madam Web? Um, no. No, they didn't. And that wasn't MCU, that was uh, Sony that did that. Yeah, they still shouldn't have done it, though. It was garbage. Um, oh, yeah. Like, absolutely. I think I heard somewhere utter. someone say it's like, can, uh, can Marvel sue Sony for Madam Web? I don't know why. Like, I wasn't sure because, like, when they in the movie, um, Peter gets born, but they don't ever say his name. It's like they're contractually obligated to not say their name. I wasn't sure what their dick was. It was garbage either way. Like absolute and utter garbage. Well, I think more more than anything, they were trying to stay clear of having it anything to do with Spider Man. Um, they're trying to keep him out of it. Yeah, but they they have uh, Ben Parker in it. it. But actual Spider Man characters. To, they were sim trying to do a similar thing, I think, than to what they've done with Venom. 
because Venom doesn't have Spider-Man in his universe. But to be fair, that still works to some degree. It doesn't totally work, but to some degree it does. Um, what am I doing against? I don't know. Cash Tira with Shifter. Okay. Yeah, Brad. Randomly look through all my uh, trap cards, and I found a very interesting one. No, you haven't. You are not allowed to play Jank. What? I can't play Confusion Chaff. Oh, I know exactly what Confusion Chaff does. If Firewall does not know what Confusion Chaff does. It states, after one card is attacked, if another card attacks, that card that is attacking now can attack one of your own cards. It can make your opponent punch their himself in the face. Only if it's a direct attack, though. And a second direct attack at that. So trolly. But yeah, that is a good point you brought up there, Firewall. Most people now, who used to like comics... Or just like, why bother? And they won't go back. Yep. I agree with that. You're right. Just saying, Brad, I found some right weird trap cards here. Got a royal writ of taxation. You're not playing that as well, are you? No, I'm just saying I found it. That is uh, top tier junk, even in top tier. Yeah, activate only during your opponent's standby phase. Select one random card your opponent's hand and look at it. Unless the selected card or card with the same name is normal summoned or activated by the end of the next turn, inflict a K damage to your opponent. That's junk for me, and I'm playing card Beast Control. With the same name. Is normal summoned or activated by the end of the turn, you take a care. You take a care. Everyone takes a care. And the last, the other one I found was respect play. All players play with their hands revealed. Yeah. During their respective turns, each player must show their opponent their hand. Classic. I'd uh, enlighten you on some random stuff I found while searching for other things. Well, don't worry, Firewall, we get it. It's not all doom and gloom in the industry, it's just... What it is, it's kind of annoying, but... I don't know, there's comics that are still being made that I'm looking forward to. I've got fine print, I've got... Sunstone, well, Mercy, I suppose it's Sunstone Mercy. I've got uh, Bloodstein, that's coming out at some point. And I'm sure there'll be others. In fact, I know there's others. God, Conscription is top tier jank. Have you got that trap? No. Conscription? Conscription. Uh, I think I've got it somewhere. 
Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck if it's a monster, you have it. Beautiful. Yeah, I have, I have got that one somewhere. I've read that one. <laughs> I don't think I kept it in my pile. <laughs> it's so it's stupid. I just need to run a deck of all these stupid traps. Why? No reason. Because it's just funnier that way. It is. That's all it is. It's just stupid things. That's why I made beast control. That is why I'm making this deck, which may work enough. Who knows? But one will find out later. Providing I can figure out what to put in it. Mm -hmm. I totally want that to come out. Give me that in bot in book volume, please. Let's see if it's out yet. If you haven't read it, I do recommend this as well. The 86. Beautiful. I want it on DVD and Blu-ray, but it doesn't seem to want to be made on Blu-ray. It's a shame. I would like it. No, not on Blu-ray. Lovely. Hmm. Need to get my maxi? Yeah, I did. I'm not dead, though. That doesn't sound familiar. You manner to lost. You know what? I haven't checked this out. Let me put it on my um list so I don't forget about it. That's graphic novel only interesting. Right, have a go. So I'm always up for recommendations. If you've got any cool ones. Like I can get, I get that series I want on DVD, but you know, one of those Chinese bootleg ones. I would just rather not. Humans with the alien invaders. That reminds me a bit of towards the end of Eminence in Shadow. Where that it states that's where humans came from. It states, the world never used to have much in it, but there's lots of parallel worlds, and sometimes they crash into each other, and when they do, 
Uh, they combine basically, so ev every new iteration of stuff is from uh, worlds colliding, and then that gets put in that world. So first they'll have had like demons, and then humans will have came in, and then magic will have got crashed into it. And over time, it keeps getting new extra layers and things. Interesting. I, I love lore in series me. Lore is good. Someone asked a, a Facebook poll yesterday that was just randomly in. If you had three series to reboot from the re from the start, uh, what would you do for it? And I put Knights and Magic as one of them. Yeah, because it was garbage. Uh, yeah, Kenichi would be nice, you know, with updated graphics. Yeah, I'm definitely good. Some. Just some little bits like that. I'm not sure which ones I'll probably choose. It's ones that have been made before but need to be remade, basically. I mean. Ooh. Maybe. Booster ranking. I'll give Updated it to graphics, because yeah. I think it, did, it didn't have any filler, it was just what it was. Yeah, it was just what it was. But. Give it the um, unlimited budget works shipment, and then you'd have a cracking show right there. You would. It'd be cool. Because that does have some right flashy moments in it, so I can just see it, you know, with the. Also, its voice acting has not right. aged well. Has it not? No. I've not seen it in a while. The main character hasn't. Uh, Captain Bravo and everyone else just sounds cool, but the main character's kind of dumb. Main characters generally always sound dumb. You know how stupid it is that the main character is always dumb. So, Praying asked me on uh, Discord yesterday. What's the best tournament arc? Tournament arc? I assume he thought I was going to say, um... Yu Yu Hakusho? I didn't. You'll be very happy with what I said, Nat. I said Ma Heaven. Yeah, I can see it. Ma Heaven and Law of Aweki. That also has a. No. Yeah, that was the. Who's the god arc? Blades and Metabots. Metabots. Love that show. Is that, is that more of a tournament arc? He does have a tournament. It literally ends on the tournament. Uh, if you're not counting, when it goes into the next one where it turns into a car. That uh, What series is that? I don't remember that series. <laughs> Mm, I thought so. I think you just made that up. Mm, I think I did. Because yeah, um, Metabots has no season play. 2. I will die on that hill. You shall, you shall. Metabots has no season 2. In English, anyway. Like, there is no Dragon Ball Evolution movie. There just isn't. It never existed. But I've heard if it did exist, it would be garbage. I'm going by while selling me on it. In the distant future, humanity evolved to the point of finding sentient, less developed alien life. Alright. I might nip to um, OK Comics tomorrow and see if they've got out cooling for me. Because you have recommended yeah. a good couple of stuff, so if I can find any of them, I'll certainly give it a go. 
is yeah to be fair going back onto that comments for a second it's like freedom planet is quite uh sparse on that comics nowadays yeah they only have like three shelves now they have a few more than that at least five and predominantly centered around uh dc and marvel yeah it's really annoying i don't even think they uh, separate them in. Why would you? It's a shame. It really is. There's so much good content out there that I don't know about, and a lot of people who don't have someone like Firewall or someone like that who knows the comics recommend them to people. So many cool uh, stories that I think I'll it's know. one of those where if you really want to try and find a comic that's interesting stuff, you will just go out and look for it. Some people need a bit more of a nudge than others. In a desperate attempt for salvation, they plunged in a, a supercomputer and instantly become sentient and renders all humanity. It's a biological abominations. That's pretty based. I, I'm sold on this. I've got it on my little uh, Amazon list. I'll give that a go. I've only got like seven comics right now, so I have been trying to pick up some stuff. Very slowly, but we are getting there. I think on that, I need to get some sleep, so I will think I'll call it there. Of course, mate, yeah. If you, if you find something cool, bring it up. We always like chatting about cool things here. It usually devolves into uh, back in our day when shows were good, but... Back in our day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. All good. Oh, well, we're that old, but you know. I mean, I'm not that old either, but I, we are sort of getting on there, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, because the shows have been worse and worse by the second. Right. Stream and chill back in my day. That'll be the next one. Because I've got... um. It's not next Friday I've got off. It's... No. Just thinking. I do have some time off coming up, so... I will do some back in our day streams. Don't worry about that. I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> right. Oh no, I'll be streaming next week. So I had today off, so I had a bit of time to chill, finish Digi a bit of Digimon. It's all good. Hopefully, uh, praying won't be asleep this time. Message me saying, when's your stream? I'm like, you know, I could do it about 10 o'clock-ish to be a bit earlier. Oh no, I'll be super tired then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, his sleeping pattern's not great. It's worse than mine. It's, it's all good. All right, so I'll see everyone next time. Potentially see Nat later on tomorrow, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, sure. Well, today, I suppose. Potentially. Potentially. So, see you later, lads. <laughs>